Hey YouTube, I'm waiting for my refinishers to come with the piano. I can't wait until you guys see it. Anyway, let me show you something. This piano is ready to go. I just took the action out. Golly, it was a, excuse my French, bitch. It was a bitch to take this action out. On top, you know, because it was a player and everything. Oh my gosh, I never took an action like that out in my life. Here's the action right here. I mean, it, the ivories are still intact. So I am going to keep, I'm going to keep it ivory. I just wanted an old vintage look. So remember, as I said, please let me know what color shall I paint this piano. And no, I am not painting it polka dot pink with um, white spots on it. Anyway, let me know, YouTube. I'm going to show you when that piano comes in. <laughs> Everybody, YouTube, this is Tim. <laughs> wow. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Yeah. Oops. Oh my gosh, that is beautiful. Wow. <laughs> I love it. Results of um, that Kurtzman piano, which is now a Kay Nicholson piano. So uh, let me show you. Here it is. This is a blue metallic flake. This is that same piano that I broke down. Let me go on the other side so the light can hit it. I might have to wait until the morning to actually shoot this. But there it is right there. That's the blue metallic flake piano. If I get closer into it, you get to see the blue metallic flake. And it's a high polish. What it, what it has is um, a black background. And it's just uh, blue glitter sprinkles all over it. And, okay, the keys are plastic now. After seeing this piano, I had to change them to plastic because it looks newer and it looks better and it looks sellable. So, um, here it is. This is the ending results of the um, blue metal flake piano. This thing is unbelievable, right? Somebody, some nightclub will probably come and snatch it. Um, at the same time, remember I showed you in the refinishing shop, there was a customer's piano. Here it is right here. They just brought this back today, and it's now a high polish um, tiger walnut, no, not walnut, mahogany. And they did a good job. They did a really, really good job. Um, there's finishing up the other pieces. That's why you can see that there's a piece over here that's missing and a piece over here that's missing uh... this keys they are the ivory keys and for this kind of piano and this kind of look it's best to keep the ivory keys on this piano but such nice work that they're doing uh... this is the company that I, that's actually going to team up with me and um, they do really really nice for finishing work Now. After doing a blue metal flake, what other finishes you think we should come up with? <laughs> this was a little bizarre. Um, the reason I did it blue metal flake because we have that piano right over here, which is the Kawhi Nickelodeon, and it's a red metal flake with a little bit of gold flake in it. Plus, look at the keys. So, I thought I'd do something on the cool side, which is the blue metal flake. And, of course, we're going to have the traditional other finishes like um, the wood tones, the black. Uh, let me show you our next project, what we're working on. If we go into this section over here, this piano over here, this is a brown, brown wood mahogany and it's a Wadsworth. And do you see the uh, gold grills on the music desk? We're going to make this piano a black satin, a vintage black satin. I think it'll sell better if it's black and um, this over here 
let me pan away and move this chair. But this over here, this is a George Steck uh, dual art player. And this is a walnut satin, but the finish is a little bit faded out. So um, that's going to be a black satin too. Now, we have an empty space over here. Sorry about all the mess right over here, but that's going to be underneath pianos because we have no other place to put it. But another piano, another grand piano is coming tomorrow. Actually, two more grand pianos are coming tomorrow. Um, this one over here, this is the White Gold Branson. It has a very, very nice um, style to it, you know, because it's like more of the, of the modern grand piano style type. But one thing about this piano is that it's all kind of faded out. See right over here? So the refinishers are going to take that, and since it has white keys right over here, what we're going to do is that we're going to make this piano a stark white. So, you know, it matches with the keys instead of an off-white. This is more like a cream color white, but we're going to definitely make it a stark white. And, um, you know, hopefully it's sell. Thank you very much, YouTube. Have a nice day. Write me back. Thank you. Bye.